The film begins with a scene at a pharmaceutical company called SR Pharma Life. On a bright day, one of the company's founders, Siddharth, is seen deep in thought about how to create a cure for a deadly disease. At that moment, he really hopes to one day see a world free from diseases. However, he still hasn't found anyone who can help make his dream come true. Next, we meet the main character of the movie, Krishna Das, who works at a five-star hotel. Krishna is an orphan who grew up in an orphanage and now lives only with his two friends, Mahesh and Adi, who also work at the hotel. One day, while Krishna was delivering drinks to a customer, the customer complained because he thought Krishna had gotten his order wrong. The customer even threw the drink in Krishna's face and insulted him in front of everyone, including his manager, Deepthi. Having been insulted all his life, Krishna decides to visit the hotel as a customer, even if it means spending all his savings. He does this hoping to be treated with the same respect as other guests. Krishna is also determined that one day he will own the hotel. Before taking this step, the three friends decide to go to a shopping mall to buy clothes so they can look like wealthy people. In the evening, Krishna and his friends dressed up in fancy clothes and went to the hotel where they worked. One of their co-workers, a receptionist, tried to scold them, but they didn't listen because they just wanted to be treated like any other guests. At that moment Siddharth noticed them because he had just finished a meeting with his investors. Krishna then ordered some expensive drinks and went up on stage to sing a song in Telugu. Most people laughed at him, but a beautiful woman named Kirthi really enjoyed his performance and even hugged him to thank him for singing her favorite song. Later, Krishna saw Kirthi arguing with the man she was with. Krishna stepped in and told the man to stop bothering her. After the man left, Krishna invited Kirthi to continue drinking with him. To impress her, Krishna's friends acted like they were his assistants, making Krishna feel very happy and unconcerned about the money he was spending. When they returned to Kirthi, she had passed out from drinking too much. Remembering that there was an empty room available, they decided to take her there. In the elevator, Kirthi, who was barely conscious, almost kissed Krishna. But Krishna held back because he had fallen in love with her. Even though Kirthi was lying on the bed, Krishna just looked at her from afar, not wanting to take advantage of the situation. The next morning, when Kirthi woke up, Krishna told her that the hotel had given her a special room. When a co-worker, who was a receptionist, scolded Krishna, he warned her by mentioning that he had seen her going into a male customer's room. To avoid getting in trouble with the manager, the receptionist agreed to make it look like Krishna had paid for the room. Back at their rented home, Krishna's curious friends immediately asked him about what happened with Kirthi in the room. While they were all talking and having a good time, their landlord showed up to collect the rent. Since they had run out of money, Adi sent a fake message pretending they had paid the rent. Later, when Krishna was back at the hotel, he tricked his manager into coming to work because he wanted to take the day off secretly. He had promised Kirthi to take her out. Needing a car for the day, Adi, who worked as a parking attendant, discreetly borrowed a customer's car keys to help Krishna. During their drive, Kirthi asked Krishna what his name was because she had forgotten it from the night before. Before Krishna could answer, Kirthi noticed a business card in the car and assumed Krishna was a doctor and the owner of SR Pharma Life, named Sanjay. Because she thought Sanjay was a famous doctor, Kirthi excitedly asked Krishna to meet her parents. At first, Krishna was hesitated, but changed his mind after Kirthi gently touched his hand. So, he decided to take her to the house listed on the business card pretending it was his. When they arrived and saw how large and luxurious the house was, Krishna got nervous and suggested they leave right away. However, Kirthi wanted to go inside and even swim, which worried Krishna even more. Shortly after they jumped into the pool, the owners of the house, Sanjay's parents, showed up. His mother was in a wheelchair due to an illness. To avoid raising any suspicions, Krishna quickly made up a story about family troubles and told Kirthi they needed to leave. To dodge more questions from Kirthi that could reveal his lies, Krishna dropped her off midway through their return journey, claiming he urgently needed to get to his company for an important project. On his way to the hotel, Krishna was suddenly confronted by a man who had come with Kirthi that night, along with some of his friends who wanted revenge on Krishna. Despite being outnumbered, Krishna managed to defeat them all easily. Back at work, Mahesh told Krishna that they needed to pay their rent immediately. Amidst this stress, Krishna got a call from Kirthi who accused him of lying. 
This was because the receptionist told her that Krishna wasn't the owner of the SR Pharma Life Company. After this call, Krishna and his friends went to Sanjay's company. When they arrived, Krishna tried to talk to Kirthi, but they ended up arguing because Krishna continued to pretend he was the company's owner. Then, two friends overheard that a man had just been hired there, and they got him to thank Krishna as if he were the boss. This convinced Kirthi to trust Krishna again. Later that evening, while having dinner with Kirthi, Krishna received a call from his friends and responded affectionately. This made Kirthi mistakenly think that Krishna liked men, especially since he hadn't tried to get close to her when they first met. To clear up the confusion, Krishna expressed his feelings, and they both officially became a couple. One night, while Krishna and Kirthi were driving on a quiet road, a black sedan sped past them. At that time Kirthi didn't like being overtaken, so she convinced Krishna to chase the car by promising they could spend the night together. After they passed the sedan, he threw a cup of coffee at it in the heat of the moment. The next day, Krishna's lies started to unravel because of CCTV footage that showed him bringing Kirthi into a hotel room the first time they met. Deepthi, their manager, called Kirthi to explain everything Krishna had lied about, leaving her very disappointed. Soon after, Deepthi fired Krishna and his friends and made sure they couldn't get jobs at any other hotels. The next day, Kirthi broke up with Krishna because she was upset about his lies. Also, their landlord found out they had lied and kicked them out of their home. At that point, Siddharth showed up and offered to pay their rent for two years, but only if Krishna agreed to go with him. When they arrived at Sanjay's house, Krishna was worried Siddharth might turn him into the police. But he was surprised when Siddharth showed him a photo of Sanjay, who looked a lot like Krishna. There, Siddharth explained that Sanjay was his nephew who had been working hard to find a cure for diseases. To promote their new product, they held a seminar where Siddharth announced they had successfully treated a patient named Stella. At that time, a businessman named Dhanung Jai saw a very profitable opportunity and decided to invest a huge amount in the project. Before they could finish their final research, Sanjay, the key researcher, died in a car accident. Since no one knew about Sanjay's death, Siddharth asked Krishna to pretend to be Sanjay for 10 days. Krishna changed his appearance to look like Sanjay, and Siddharth introduced him to Sanjay's father to convince him that Sanjay was still alive. However, because Krishna and Sanjay were so different in personality, Krishna nearly messed up Siddharth's plan. When Siddharth shared that Janakama, Sanjay's mother, had suffered a stroke, Krishna rushed to her side, feeling as if she were his own mother. Unfortunately, she could only listen to Krishna without being able to respond. While heading to his company, Siddharth stopped at the place where Sanjay had his accident. There, Siddharth explained that Sanjay was rushing to the lab to deliver some medicine that night. But on his way, someone threw coffee at his car, which caused him to crash. After hearing everything, Krishna was shocked because he realized that he was the one who caused Sanjay's death. This made him feel very guilty. When he got to Sanjay's company, a police officer who was already suspicious of him approached Krishna. The police had found Sanjay's body in the morgue and thought Krishna might have had something to do with Sanjay's death to take over his company. Soon after the police left, Kirthi came to apologize to Krishna for her actions the day before. There, Krishna admitted to her that it was their actions that led to Sanjay's accident. He planned to confess everything to Sanjay's family. When he was at home, overwhelmed with emotions, Krishna decided to tell the truth to Janakama. Krishna felt he needed to apologize to Janakama first because she was Sanjay's mom. Out of his deep regret, he was determined to uphold Sanjay's life goals, and once he had done that, he felt he would be ready to end his own life. The next day, Krishna found out that Dhanunjai was at his company, so he rushed over there. When Krishna tried to talk things out, Dhanunjai ordered his men to attack him. At that time, Krishna didn't stand for it, and quickly defended himself, surprising both Dhanunjai and Siddharth. Eventually, Krishna agreed to sign a deal to give Dhanunjai the medicine he wanted, but he made it clear he would fight back if Dhanunjai threatened his family. After that, Krishna spent a lot of time with Sanjay's family, but he still felt really bad about Sanjay's death. A few days later, Krishna told Kirthi that he planned to tell Sanjay's family the whole truth soon. Upon hearing that, Kirthi supported his decision. When Krishna arrived at Sanjay's family's home, he got a call from Siddharth. There, Krishna told Siddharth he didn't want to keep lying. However, Siddharth insisted that Krishna hadn't really deceived anyone. During this conversation, 
it's revealed that Sanjay is actually still alive. Here's where everything gets crazy, and the truth comes out that Krishna was actually tricked by Siddharth and his gang. There, Siddharth explained that after Sanjay was died, Sanjay and a professor worked together to create a disease cure. They even tested the drug on someone named Stella, and it seemed to work, so they hosted a seminar to show off the drug. But Sanjay got greedy. He locked the professor in the lab, because he wanted to take all the credit for the discovery. When he found out the drug didn't work on other patients, he begged the professor to help make it better. But the professor, upset by how Sanjay treated him, just laughed and refused to help. Since that time, Sanjay tried to continue the research by himself, but he couldn't make the medicine work, and sadly, all the patients who took it ended up dying. Desperate, Sanjay kidnapped the professor's daughter, hoping this would force the professor to help him. But things went terribly wrong cause the professor had a heart attack and died after seeing his own daughter killed. When Siddharth saw Sanjay hitting the professor's body, he got really worried because Dhanunjai had invested a lot of money in their project. At the same time, Sanjay was avoiding his girlfriend, Dali, who wanted to see him. Amidst all these problems, Siddharth bumped into Krishna at the hotel, which made him really happy. So, he schemed to get Krishna fired by his manager and then lured him into his trap. Siddharth even had his servant pretend to be Sanjay, and Krishna got very emotional when he met Sanjay's mom, which made things easier for Siddharth. Now that Krishna knew everything, Siddharth thought it was the perfect time to frame him for Sanjay's fake death. When Krishna found out the police were after him, he got really confused and decided to run away. Soon, Sanjay got really mad when he heard the police hadn't caught Krishna, blaming Siddharth for messing up. Meanwhile, after Krishna told his two friends everything, they suggested meeting at the hostel where Kirthi lived, thinking it was the safest place for Krishna to hide. When Krishna got to the hostel, he quickly called Kirthi, and they were all shocked to find out that Kirthi was actually Dali. There, Kirthi admitted that she was the one who sent a photo of Krishna to Sanjay after they met at the shopping center. This was how they started making plans to trap Krishna and set up all the scenarios they had been playing out. Kirthi explained that she did all this because she was deeply in love with Sanjay. Hearing all of this made Krishna feel even more overwhelmed by the troubles in his life. To prove that he was innocent, his two friends decided to start looking for evidence to clear his name. But then, Sanjay found out where they were through CCTV footage and told Siddharth to get 100 crore, thinking that this was the fastest way to catch Krishna. While Siddharth was getting the money, their whole extended family was just thinking about themselves, disappointing Janakama even more with their selfish behavior. Unbeknownst to them, that night, Janakama showed a sign of response by moving her fingers. Not long after Krishna's two friends were arrested, Sanjay offered them money to help trap Krishna. To make them agree, Sanjay even shot hot lead near Mahesh's feet. With no other options, Adi felt he had to go along with that plan. When Krishna showed up, Sanjay pointed a gun at him. However, Krishna was confident that Sanjay wouldn't dare shoot because if Krishna died, Sanjay would have no one to take his place and would end up getting arrested. Krishna managed to grab the gun and threatened to do something drastic unless Sanjay sent away all his men. After his men left, Sanjay attacked Krishna and they ended up fighting. In that moment, Sanjay overpowered Krishna, beating him until he passed out. When Krishna woke up by the side of the road, still dazed and weak, he tried to get up, but the police arrived to arrest him. Even his two friends blocked him, preventing him from escaping. Meanwhile, Sanjay was at his house, celebrating their scheme working out. He then realized Kirthi was also at risk, so he suggested she go to the Caribbean to avoid the police. The next day, Sanjay invited his whole family to a luxurious house outside the city. There, he and Siddharth conducted a huge drug deal worth 10,000 crore, and Sanjay demanded that the money be transferred to his account within two days. A week later, Sanjay showed up at the police station to see Krishna. At the same time, Siddharth and his family were watching a video recording that Sanjay had played before leaving. It was then revealed that Sanjay was actually Krishna, who had taken their 10,000 crore. While explaining, there was a flashback to a fight between Krishna and Sanjay. That night, when Sanjay tried to hit him, Krishna got really mad and blocked the blow. Krishna then revealed that it was actually Sanjay who had fallen into his trap, as the arrival of Krishna's two friends was part of his plan. He knew Sanjay would try to bribe them with money, given their background. After Krishna knocked Sanjay unconscious, 
he switched their clothes and left Sunjay by the side of the road. This made everyone think that the Sunjay who was arrested by the police was actually Krishna. While standing in front of Sunjay, Krishna explained that he had to switch places with him to get revenge for the death of the professor and his child. When Sanjay asked about his mother, Krishna told him that he had recently met Janakama to apologize. He admitted that he had tricked many people, but he always told the truth to Janakama. Unexpectedly, Janakama grabbed his hand and expressed how hurt she was when a photo of her late husband was replaced with a photo of their servant. She now preferred Krishna as her son and asked him to take her away. Meanwhile, Kirthi had also set a trap by moving to the Caribbean to eventually live with Krishna. After listening to Krishna's explanation, Sanjay said he just needed a little time to respond. As Krishna walked away from the police station, the police arrested all of Sanjay's family members for having illegal drugs. This was part of Krishna's plan to trap them all. A few days later, everyone on TV was talking about Dhanunjai because he supposedly donated 10,000 crore for disease research. But when Dhanunjai found out he hadn't actually made the donation because it was Krishna who had used his money. At that time, he got really angry and even pointed a gun at Krishna. However, his attitude changed quickly when he heard he had been appointed the new minister of health. Suddenly, he was willing to do whatever Krishna wanted. Then, Krishna took this opportunity to ask Dhanunjai for the hotel to be put in his name. After the transfer was done, all the hotel employees, including Deepthi, were waiting to meet their new boss. They were all shocked to learn that Krishna was now the owner. A year later, a man came to the police station carrying a suitcase to meet Sanjay. Meanwhile, Kirthi and Krishna were living happily together. Kirthi was even expecting a baby. But she still didn't know that the man she was living with was actually Krishna, not Sanjay. Soon after, Krishna got a call from Sanjay, who told him he was out of prison. At that time, Krishna was curious about how Sanjay managed it. So he explained that the suitcase he had brought to the police station contained a drug that could control minds. Sanjay had secretly mixed this drug into the food at the prison, which let him control the prisoners and make a break for it. He hinted that he was planning to get revenge. That's where the film ends. The moral lesson from this film is always double-check who you're swapping clothes with on the side of the road, or you might just end up owning a hotel. And hey, if you're going to use mind-control drugs, maybe start with making friends instead of planning jailbreaks.